Today we're looking at Bootstrap Island from Steam VR. It's from a developer called Maru VR Productions. It's still technically in early access, so this may change before it's officially launched. You're watching Bringhurst VR. <laughs> So what is this game? It's a survival epic. You're stranded on Bootstrap Island. You wake up on the shore, you have nothing to your name, no supplies, you're forced to survive, make what you can with what little you have, find warmth, shelter, food before nightfall. Now all through the island you'll find plenty of wood, and coconuts, crabs, clams, and treasure chests just littered. Inside every chest is different stuff, ranging from guns and knives. And the further you progress into the game, the more stuff you unlock. So for instance, I had to survive a number of days before I had access to the knife. Now, I don't think it's possible for someone just with a blank slate to get into this game and survive a day through the night into the next morning. I don't think you can do it because there are too many hiccups, too many things that you have to get right. You have to, more than anything, you need to get a fire started. That's for warmth and to keep away the monsters at night. This can save your life once the darkness sets. But you also have to hydrate and find food, which in the very beginning is gonna be in the form of coconuts for sure. And that first night, I just, they wasted me. And then I found this flintlock pistol. I don't know what about it is just Holy so amazing, but uh, the, the weight of it, everything in this has weight, but you have to physically pour the, the gunpowder down the barrel. You have to physically drop the ball down the barrel and then cock it, fire it. And so using that weapon is no small thing. That's incredible. Wow. That's awesome. It actually takes a little bit of work. And if you're under threat of death at night, trying to start a fire, trying to wield that gun, it's difficult. So this game more than anything, for me at least, in the beginning, is about planning ahead and getting a stash of, of water and food and firewood and collect multiple guns because there's multiple chests and pile up in the beginning in preparation for nightfall. Ah, crap. Oh my gosh. Well, okay. Because the man's just gonna call you a fat, washed up loser and crush your soul. So do yourselves a favor and just give up! Now it should be noted that I am maybe 15 days into this game. Uh, every day lasts, I don't know, I, I really haven't done the math, but it feels like it lasts maybe 15 minutes, something like that. I personally think that a day should be at least a half hour, maybe 45 minutes, but adhering to what this game is, accepting that a day is that short, it's it's fine. The game is, is fun. There is something truly dreadful and terrifying uh, when nightfall comes. There are a number of monsters on this island. I've come across these giant bats. I've come across what appear to be Komodo dragons. There are a lot of different things on this island that want to eat you. The bats, they're uh, kind of poorly animated, I think. They're just kind of this, this horizontal thing where they flap their wings. But the other animals, they're in the dark. They're 
kind of scary. They, they do such a good job of, of making it dark. You'd think that, okay, it's black, it's dark, but it really is. You can see the outline of, like, the mountains from the moonlight. And the fire illuminates the ground around you, but only to an extent. When it's dark, it's dark. And the sound effects are just wild. There really is a panic that comes over me when several times <laughs> nightfall is on me. It's I, I'm seconds away. I don't have a fire started. I don't have a weapon. And I'm panicking because I can hear the monsters in the dark. And in the beginning, at least, that is extremely stressful. What? It should be noted that I am yet to kill a monster with that gun. I'm quite sure in that footage I shot it point blank and it did nothing. So it's unclear to me right now if the gun even does anything. It has to. It must. But in that instance and in others to come, I it didn't do anything for me. Oh, sh oh my gosh. Crap. <laughs> there are other anomalies that are a bit annoying. In Half-Life Alex, when you walk up to a wall and you kind of try to penetrate it, you try to step into it, your vision kind of disappears. And that's how it tells you, hey, you're out of bounds. In this, it kind of shoves you back. So if you're trying to open a treasure chest and you need to get close to it and kind of hunch over and dig into it to pull whatever it is you want out of it. And if your legs, your body kind of touches it, then you drift back from the treasure chest. But I put my dad in this game just blind thinking he'd have a great time and that annoyed the hell out of him. Now, like I said, the longer you stay on this island, the more days that you survive and continue on, the more things unlock. After a few days, I got the knife. And if you keep playing over time, I haven't got this far. This is not a full review of the game. This is an introductory first impressions kind of thing. But I believe that similar to the forest, it unlocks the ability to build tree houses, forts, similar to Robinson Crusoe, Swiss Family Robinson. So the game is much more than just surviving on the beach, which is kind of what everyone's going to do day one, even day 10. But the goal of it is to survive, move deeper inland, 
and build a home for yourself. And over time, you're given more weapons, you build more weapons, and the game progresses. Now, I'm not there yet. I got nothing to show you, but I will drop another video once I do. What I want to talk about right now with this video is specifically the dread that comes at night, the difficulty of preparing for it, how just beautiful the water is, the landscape, the lighting, and how it might compare to something like the forest, which I've, I've played quite a bit of. But where that differs from this, this game makes you work for it. Right out the gate in the forest, you can get to building and collecting and chop down enough trees and you can build whatever you want. But this, you... You have no backpack to begin with. I believe you get one later on if you survive long enough, but to begin, you have your two hands and that's it. Unless you find a, a crate and you can fill stuff with that. But if you wanna march off somewhere and go explore and you want a gun, a knife and a torch, no can do. Even something like the gunpowder for the gun and the pellets for the gun and a torch. I mean, they're, they're all small things, but that's four things with two hands and it proves a little aggravating and i think it's meant to it feels hyper realistic and once i embraced what this game was trying to do i just i fell into it the lighting is superb the dark is dark i know the quest 3 doesn't have an oled panel and it's lcd and the blacks are not as black as we'd like but in the quest 3 for instance it is convincing and just that gun, the act of filling it, the, the weight of it, the sound effects that come when you pull the trigger, it's so analog, it's so physically demanding. I've never had to do something like that in another game. You know, in Half-Life Alex, you might have to load the shotgun. In the climb, you have to kind of whip your hand around to, to get more chalk but nothing like this. And so in closing, I have questions. Can they extend the day a bit because 15 minutes if it's even that it might be 10 is is very short it means that you can get off the beach walk up the mountain a bit explore for five minutes but then you got to turn around and get back to wherever you made your camp usually on the beach and get a fire started and prepare in short i'm going to stick with it i'm going to keep playing i'm going to keep living day after day until i've got a tree house and a fort and something i can call my own I want to see what else this game has to offer. And if you're interested, then you'll find a link to this game in the description. Uh, I paid for this game. I don't get anything for this. So do with this review what you will. I appreciate you guys being here. You guys have been watching Bringhurst VR. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll catch you on the flippity flop.